I'm Teal Films Bondaroff. I am the research coordinator for the BC Humanist Association. I want to give you a quick rough and tumble guide to our summer research program. We have a number of research projects on the go, as always, but we've got a couple of programs that are drop-in research programs, and we're looking for support from members of our organization and from volunteers from other places across Canada and beyond to help us make these research projects a success. The first one is part of our Saguenay project. This is a project that's been looking at unconstitutional prayer in municipal council meetings across Canada. We did our initial report in British Columbia, the second report in British Columbia, and the output of those two reports was that we can now say that no municipal council in British Columbia has prayer in their inaugural council meetings. We've got letters from the last two holdouts, Parks Mill and Vancouver, very recently, and that report was a huge success, and we've been replicating it across the country. We've written reports through Alberta, for Manitoba, and Ontario, and we're in the process of drafting up reports for Saskatchewan, all the different provinces in the Maritimes, and another report for Ontario. So we need help writing those reports, but we also need your help doing some of the data gathering for them. The way this project works is basically we get people to review the minutes and agendas of municipal council meetings, looking to see if they include prayer. And that could be quite a time you know, consuming process. I did about 50 last week. It took me a couple hours in the afternoon and it involves navigating municipal websites, looking at minutes and then inputting the data into a spreadsheet. And that really helps us identify municipalities that are violating the constitution. And when we do, we send them a letter. We have an amazing volunteer lawyer in Ontario. He's sending them letters. We get really interesting responses in our inboxes every few days. And it's making an impact. Municipalities are changing their policies as a result, making their municipal council meetings more welcoming to all people, regardless of their religion or lack thereof. So we need help gathering data for Ontario and BC. We're looking at regular council meeting prayers in British Columbia. And for our Ontario report, we did identify over 70 municipalities that had prayer in their inaugural council meetings in 2022. And so we need help transcribing those prayers. We put them together in a big document. We analyze those prayers and it helps inform the content of our report, but it also helps inform the letters that we send those municipalities when we send letters from our lawyers that tell them they should not be violating the constitution by including prayer in their meetings. So if you're interested in getting involved in those programs, it's really as easy as emailing me. I send you a link you can drop on to the spreadsheet and you can do as many as you can, whether it's one, two, or three, transcribe one prayer, look at a couple of municipal websites, look at a dozen, look at more. Every little bit helps. And it's a really great way of getting involved in our research because we take that data, we put into reports, and we use that reports to make change across Canada. Our last uh, BC report was called, we yelled at them till they stopped. And really that was our methodology. Our, our theory of change is do good quality empirical research, wave it around as much as we can and get change. So that's one of our big projects where we're looking for input and involvement from people like yourself. And we'd very much appreciate it. If you're interested in getting involved in some of our bigger projects, doing some writing or some data analysis or some research in a more involved way, we have a number of other projects I'd love to tell you about. So one of those projects is our ongoing work on permissive tax exemptions and the special privileging of places of worship in the tax code. And there's a whole host of aspects to this, whether it's statutory tax exemptions or permissive tax exemptions in British Columbia, at the provincial, at the municipal level. And we're looking at making sample policy, doing reports, crunching numbers, and a whole host of other things. So if you're interested in sort of numbers and taxes, get in touch. That's been an ongoing project and we're trying to put out a couple of reports and a book chapter and we'd love some help on that as well. The other project we're working on is our work on school districts. We know that there's been an ongoing trend where people have been trying to inject religious content that violates the separation of religion and government into school districts. And we've launched a new project that I'm getting more and more excited about as, um, as it kind of coalesces. We've been refining the research methodology and right now what we're doing and we want to review the school district policies on a wide range of topics in every school district in British Columbia. And the idea is to look at the policies, see if they exist, evaluate them on a basic rubric, and then give them a grade. So it's kind of like a report card for school districts to see how they're doing on issues like anti-bullying, sex education, secularism, SOGI, reconciliation, rental policies, dress code, evolution, creationism, and objection policies, and a whole host of other things. And the idea is that we'll have a team of people working on the report, we'll work on sample policies, like what is the best policy for this area and then we'll evaluate the existing policies to see if they're any good and if we can learn lessons and kind of distill a good policy from them and that's a lot of categories so what we're doing instead is we're going to start with two we're starting with sex education and with dress codes and we've got teams working on those already but if you're interested in getting involved we need people to help with the report writing with the policy writing as well as simply taking the existing school district policies and applying our rubric to them to see if they're any good and um, it's really interesting because some there's significant diversity in views and school district policies like school district policies are very different and you can find some school districts where they don't have a policy on anything and some that have very detailed well-written policies and we're hoping to find the best policies for each of those categories share them with school districts across the province and ideally they will make those changes 
a bunch of other projects as well. We have an ongoing report and project we've been working, partnering with the Abortion Rights Coalition of Canada, working on reproductive justice. Humanists have a proud tradition of standing up for reproductive justice. And we have a report that we've been looking at with crisis pregnancy centers. These are those kind of fake clinics that people set up to try and dissuade people from having abortions. They lie, they deceive, they manipulate, they lie through omission. And their entire goal is trying to stop people from accessing abortion services. There's over 30 of them in here in British Columbia. I think it was 36 last time we counted. And we have a report where we analyze each of those crisis pregnancy centers in BC, identifying where their funding comes from, what their logo looks like, where they're located. These places are notorious for setting up next to real clinics or across from schools, trying to use all sorts of manipulative tactics to dissuade people from exercising reproductive autonomy. And that project's been ongoing, and there's a whole host of other aspects related to that project. And we're really proud to partner with the research team on the Abortion Rights Coalition of Canada on other issues relating to uh, reproductive justice and access to abortion. So if that's something you're passionate about, please get in touch. Um, I'm the liaison between the two of them. I also wear a bunch of other hats in that world, and I'm always happy to loop you into those projects. I got a couple other things we're working on as well. We have an edited volume we're putting together, looking at secularism and non-religion across Canada, and we're looking for academic articles for that still, and a couple of uh, potential other stories. So if you're an activist, uh, humanist, atheist activist who has a story to share, get in touch. We're trying to collect a couple of additional chapters to flesh out that book project. It started off as a COVID passion project. It's still trucking along, and we're kind of having a, the book projects now divided into two sections. We've got academic chapters and activist story chapters, and the idea is to showcase the diversity of views and perspectives and experiences around humanism and non-religion and secularism in Canada. And it's a fantastic project. I'm really excited that we have um, Elaine Lay, who's one of our um, a practicum students helping us put that project together. But we could use help with, um, if you're an academic, an academic chapter, or if you have a story to share, we'd love to hear your story as well. And we've been doing a bunch of other work. Like you'll see updates from the BC Human Association all the time where we're talking about our work, whether it's working on end of life care or medical assistance in dying. There's an ongoing project where we're trying to figure out how we can address the issue of government funding to religious hospitals that don't provide MAID or access to abortion services. We've got ongoing work looking at um, the CRA and how it privileges um, religious charities. We have projects that come up from time to time because people email us, whether it's their mayor organized a prayer breakfast or there's something weird about the flag policy in this one city or what's going on with dress codes and legislatures. All sorts of projects that come up because people like yourself see something happening in their community and get in touch with us. And I'm so excited to be doing all this work the BC Human Association is a small organization. Our research team is essentially me, Ian, and amazing group of volunteers, but we punch well above our weight. We are making change across the country, whether it's convincing municipalities to follow the constitution by no longer including prayer in their meetings, whether it is transforming public policy at the legislature, whether it's tackling and addressing the privilege that we give religious institutions as it relates to tax policy, or whether it's protecting our children by making sure they get the best quality education and that school district policy is inclusive and secular and make sure that we have good education policies. It's all really impactful and we can't do it without your help. So if you're interested in getting involved, please let us know. We have our drop-in research projects. We have the more involved research projects. Or alongside that, we do need your donations. We survive on donations and support from members of the community and from members of our organization. And we couldn't do it without your help. So thank you to everyone who does donate. Thank you to all of our volunteers. And if you haven't donated yet, consider donating. The work that we're doing is helping transform Canada. It's helping support the separation of religion and government, making sure that states are neutral when it comes to religious issues but we can't do it without your help. So please help support the work of the BC Humanist Association and thank you all for your ongoing support.